All right, welcome back. So it's actually a couple days later after I installed the jack plate. So today I'm going to mount the 40 Johnson. It's just sitting here looking all pretty, waiting to be installed. <laughs> so that's what's going to happen today. So this is how the motor is sitting with the uh, fresh paint job, new decals. It's all good to go. So I got this fancy uh, rubber grommet that will be sitting right over top of this. And then that's where my cables will run through. So I marked out all the holes. found some chrome screws to put through it. And I also used that 4200 uh, marine sealant just to give it that extra adhesive. So the next step, I think I'm gonna try to work on getting the steering installed. So gotta figure out how to run that properly. I might have to drill a hole out the back or the side. Um, we'll see. Ah. Chase, what are you eating? A pear? Where did you get the pear Daddy. from? Above? Yeah, where did Daddy put get the pear from? Is there a pear tree over there? Oh, so yummy. 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 Are we going to work? Yeah, what? What? Yeah, the pear's up there in the tree. You gonna help Daddy with the boat? Daddy boat. Yeah, Daddy in the boat. Do you want to go in the boat? A boat? Yeah, let's go in the boat. So this is what Jace and I went to go pick up today. I was thinking of running all the electrical through something like this. This might be too thick, but I'm not sure. So I was gonna probably try to run all the electrical wires out from the outboard motor through the hole, so it would kind of come up to the end of the motor and then fish through the grommet, the rubber grommet there. So well, I don't know. I'm going to see if how this works. It might be too big. We'll give it a shot. Ooh, got that pair almost done. You done? I got the In the garbage. Oh, I got it. Okay. Okay, so if I turn it all the way this way, Jace. Okay, we we'll some there. If we turn it all the way this way, we have some there. Is a dude. No, just Chase. Just Chase is a dude. Do Daddy to be a dude? Daddy, dude. Daddy, dude. Okay, put Daddy's hat on. Okay, Daddy, be a dude. Ooh. Okay. Oh, other way. Whoa, Daddy, dude. Is Daddy a dude? Daddy a dude. 
so I picked up this uh, piece of mahogany. My plan is to use this piece as a dashboard. So this is my steering wheel, also made out of mahogany. And I'm gonna cut out this piece to size and shape. I'm gonna mount it onto the front dash piece of my boat. The thing is, it's a little bit thick. I'm hoping I can at least cut it in half. So it'll look kind of funny if I just put a three quarter inch thick piece of mahogany on the dash. It'll, it'll, it'll just look ridiculous. So I think I'm gonna cut it in half and see if that's even possible. So I got all my pieces cut out. I will be uh, bringing these back to the shop tomorrow and then I gotta figure out the exact curve here on the dash before I just cut it. I don't wanna cut it now and then it be off. So I'll do that tomorrow. So I'll just clean everything up and then um, I'll see you guys back at the shop to install the steering. Look who showed up. What's up dude? Just in time. Check out my ride. Dude, Toyota Corolla. That could be my next project to potential project. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> what are you on your fifth engine maybe rebuild? Maybe take longer than the boat. Got this uh, hooked up. Oh yeah. All my wires from the motor <laughs> running through here. Oh yeah, and, all three of them. And also Dang. the trim unit. Nice. This so is when, looking official. Luke. Yeah. So when you turn left and right, you got full full control still. Nice. I do like that feature. Me too. Engine's not gonna shut off when you turn. <laughs> Love that. That's a perk. <laughs> um, I drilled two holes on either side. This will be for a throttle. I need to put a grommet in there, and then on that there side, the go. gas uh, line will fish through that side. The jack plate adds like an extra 45, 50 pounds. And then Let's like 40 horsepower is back in the 1960s were like 180 pounds altogether. This whole system is like 240 pounds. This is not lightweight power. Power to weight ratio is not great. I, uh, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's pretty light. <laughs> this is literally like a rocket. <laughs> yeah. No, it'll be fine. If, if it does sit pretty low in the back, I'm going to be putting a gas tank up in the bow, mm -hmm. like a 50 gallon, nice. <laughs> to even it out. <laughs> so, it, so it's all pretty low in the... <laughs> that being said, <laughs> I'm gonna get behind the dash, measure out where this guy's gonna go in, drill some holes, mm -hmm. bzz, bzz, and then uh, get this thing installed, and then put the steering wheel on, and at least we can turn the motor left and right. And then I'm going to grab my throttle control, put that in, hook up the throttle cables, and at that point, technically, we can control the boat safely. That would be nice. That would be nice. Let's get to that and get this boat ready for the water. So, here is the boat. Uh, next things we're gonna do is I uh, put the seats in and um, put the steering wheel on and what else needs to be done? Get the uh, throttle mounted there on the side. We got the throttle all hooked up to the engine mm -hmm. but you guys seen this I put the steering wheel uh, compartment in actually right now we're gonna be putting the boat seats in. Look at this bad boy. Kind of have to imagine myself as a captain. <laughs> A sea captain. Right there. Five. Oh, is it is it ready? Ready? Yeah. So I got the seats in the position I want them. Marked my drill bit to just over a half inch. I don't want to drill through the hull of the boat. That would be the worst. Right there. Right, so the seats are in. They're all secured. All the hardware I use is stainless steel. Don't want any of this stuff to go rusty on me and get corroded and all that, so. So here's a piece of mahogany I cut out. I wanted to mark the holes before I stain it anyways. 
so that way I can fill the holes with it with the varnish as well. All right, so that's on. So I got my dash piece here. I got it all cut out, sanded, got the hole for the steering wheel put in, and uh, now I'm gonna stain it. I got this special walnut wiping stain I'm gonna try to use. It should match the steering wheel. Might be slightly off, but we'll see. And then I also got exterior oil-based spar marine varnish. So once the wiping stain is dry, I'll coat it in a few coats of this stuff to give it that added protection and gloss finish. So I found these Gunwale end caps. They're the 35 millimeter ones that should probably, that should fit over the end here and uh, cover these up. So, well, would you look at here? I'm gonna probably screw these in and then fill in that crack with some uh, sealant. They fit pretty good. Kind of just clean up the corners a bit and uh, just make it look a lot better, so. So I'm gonna put the windshield on today. I replaced some of the hardware. And so this windshield is still the original one. I might have it replaced in the future, but at this point I'm going to reuse it. So I did replace though the the molding that the windshield will sit in. It used to be white. Um, I painted it with a vinyl paint. It would look kind of weird if I had a white vinyl molding with a red and black boat. This is the uh, paint I used for the vinyl. Um, it went on really well. I actually used the whole can, so I put three coats of paint on. The inside of it's still white, obviously, so. We'll put it on and see how it looks. Today, Ben is here with me. Oh yeah. We're getting all the wiring done. So got this fancy bus bar. We're gonna throw that up behind the dash. Got our main cables running from the battery to the bus bar. And then all of our accessories will be running off of this guy. So we're gonna spend the day, however long it takes us to get all this done. So a light hooked up, anchor light, get all our speedometer, I mean, get all our gauges in, uh, well, probably not installed, but get all the wiring done. And then, uh, yeah, just have everything figured out for the electrical. Here we have my horns. Got all the gauges wired up. 
have a relay. The relay is from the uh, ignition switch on the throttle control panel. So when you turn the ignition on, that will send power to the gauges. And then uh, here's my bus box. So I've got the power in here, the ground. Everything's wired up on the top part. Got the horn switch and the light switch right here. So the dash lights are also hooked up to the light switch, which is right here. And so I can turn on the dash lights individually from the ignition. Because I figured there's no point in having the dash lights on in the middle of the day because you don't even notice them. So, and then uh, kind of ran the wire ring through this conduit all the way to the back. Hung it up with the uh, little hang hangers. So now all the electrical is finished and working great. Here's a dash with all the gauges in it. And then we got the horn. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and then this is the dash lights. So eventually, so I have the anchor light hooked up on the first pole and on the second pole the anchor light will stay on, but then the bow light turns on and the dash lights. So, and then uh, we'll just turn the ignition on. Then the GPS should do a full swing. And then once it finds a GPS connection, the needle will actually go back down to zero. So, and then we got 12 and a half volts. And if I crank the engine quickly, I'm just gonna do it for a quick second. The RPM will go on, or the RPMs work. And yeah. Complete. Got the trim. Everything's working as it should. And actually, in the future, I'm gonna install a bilge pump in the back. So I picked up some of these guys. And this is just a stern eye hook. I marked up some holes. Just uh, drilled two little holes here. This is where I'm gonna be mounting it. And this plate will go on the inside of the transom, hold it in place so it doesn't like pull through, obviously. So that will be used to also tie down the boat so basically I can so I can uh, run a strap from here to here. I needed a proper way to secure the boat to the trailer so I'm gonna use it use that and then also I can uh, pull tubes behind the boat. Got one installed. Actually, this is the second one. So those will definitely hold.
So guys, I'm done the boat. <clears throat> I think. Well, actually, there's no back seats, and I was planning on putting back seats, but that will probably happen a little bit later in the future. But really, everything else is finished. So, it's kind of weird to not have another thing to do on the boat. So the next step is to put this boat in the water and let her rip. So I'll see you guys next video on the lake.